All right, I'm ready. Hi, Linda. I'm so glad you're doing this with me. So, um, yes. Yeah, so, you know, I started this new video series for women over 50 to help inspire each of us working women out there because we're still doing the dang thing. And so <laughs> I want to introduce you and uh, have you just tell us a little bit about you, what you do, and then why you um, initially came to me for photos. So let's start with who you are and what you do. Okay, so I am Linda Michelson, and I am a realtor with Remax Alliance, and I have been a realtor for 20 years this year. Um, and the reason why I came to you in the first place is because real estate photos um, typically are pretty dull. They all look the same. It's always just the very generic look and that just didn't work for me. I wanted something that was a little bit more um, indicative of my personality that I'm fun and that I'm gonna make you know the, the home buying selling experience a little bit more fun and that I'm a little bit maybe more easygoing than the standard you know arms crossed photo. So I didn't I, I wanted to, to upgrade. So I came so, to see you. <laughs> yes, and I remember your red Chuck Taylors. Right. Is that what they're called? Uh, when you told me the name, I'm like, I don't know if I know what those are. They're, well, yeah, they're Converse, but Chucks, everybody knows. I mean, we all know the song um, where he talks about wearing his Chuck Taylors and looking so hot. And, you know, <laughs> hey, I, I, have them in, I have them in all colors. I, and they were so you. And then, and then we did another one, another shoot after that initial one that I want to share with people um, that uh, was in the studio. And look at you. These are so pretty. I, um, these are backlit. So I, yeah. And the, uh, there you go. You popped out right there, right there. There you are. And then with your hair, I thought the black oh my gosh background looked so i love pretty. them look they were all fabulous you, you make me look good oh you you did so good i'm so grateful that you let me that was when i was first learning and i was trying to figure it out yeah it's but like it looks like you had it looks like you had it oh my goodness well um so tell me a little bit how are you using the images in your business well, I, I'm using them everywhere because, you know, I blog and then I have like social media stuff and, um, and again, I kind of, I switch them out and I mean, I'll send an email and someone will go, oh, I love your signature line Aww. just randomly because I have a, a photo and, you know, like on my blog, I tend to use some of the more casual photos that are a little bit more fun and, you know, and then on my signature line, I, you know, I'm going with kind of more of a headshot that maybe is not really serious because that's not really my vibe anyway but um no so i you, i switch them up i have a little portfolio of nice photos and i just think it makes a big difference as to how how i'm received yes. i think people feel it makes me feel more relatable when people see that i have a personality and that i'm not just like a cardboard right cut out well, with a fake with a fake smile yeah, with your industry as a realtor, people really want you. I mean, they and you have to deal with some sticky situations. I mean, and horribly All the time. detailed stuff that like, oh, this came up. So, oh, great. So um, they go to you because they need nurturing. And right. Comfort. And I want people to see that. I want people to see that I'm sincere. So, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes I think, oh, my smile's too big. And then I think, ah, you know, ah. people are going to be like, oh, that's real. That's a real photo. That's how she looks. And it's how I look. You know, I don't think that they are, you know, I'm pretty much what you see is what you get. And the photos are really what you get they yeah. they look just like me they're not so um so made that i don't look the same it's like when somebody uses their you know their photo from when they were 25 on their facebook sure. profile and you're like that's not her <laughs> well and i that's what i love about the women we're doing lately is that we're really putting images out there of us in our 50s and 60s and we're good with it and so and when we were talking before the the call you were talking about where what fuels you and what drains you so tell us a little bit about that and um yeah and and we'll we'll talk about what you mentioned before 
So specific to my business or specific to life? Um, it, it doesn't, I would say, well, let's start with what drains you. Um, I would say, let's start with your personal life, like, or, or clients. How well, I'm, I, I mean, it probably is pretty much the same across the board because what fuels me is just happiness, which, you know, I, you know, grandbabies and, yeah. and Great. pets and my kids and sitting on my swing outside and having really good coffee. Those are all lovely things. But I think just generally, you know, in my business, when I know you know, first time home buyers or, you know, downside, I mean, all my, all my buyers and sellers, when they're happy, when we get done and they're just grateful and happy that, yeah. that I helped them along the way. And that made the process, which can be daunting, mm -hmm. um, a little less painful, just being a little, you know, a little light and humorous yeah. and, and trying to absorb when things go bad because they do. So those things just make me happy. You know, that's, I mean, that sounds super cliche, but it's true. You know, I mean, I like to work with people because, because of that, because I get something out of them being happy. And I can tell you totally on the flip side is what drains me in personal and in business is just negativity. When people are just cynical and negative and they're always going to look at the, you know, not look at the bright side because I am totally a glass half full kind of gal. So yeah. when they're, you know, and I, uh, you know, it does become wearing sometimes when you have to always, you know, put that to the side, but Maybe you know, that's okay. That's what I do. And I think that that is what, um, what really helps my business and why I have a lot of repeat business, a lot of referrals. Cause people say, Oh, Linda was so fun. And you know, I, I'm going to take the heat when it's out there. So the, the good stuff, the happy stuff, the positive stuff, that's what definitely gets me going. And then, you know, when people are negative, I just shut that down because I don't need well, and, and you told me a little bit well, before the call, like the best part about being over 50, you were talking about not caring so much. What yeah. you think? Like, tell me, tell, tell me more about that. Yeah. So what's the best part about For being over sure. 50. For <laughs> sure. So I'm turning 60 yep. in three weeks. So I'm, I'm, yep. I'm I'm beyond over 50 now. So I'm, I'm hitting another milestone. Um, and it's not about, it's not, not caring because obviously I care what people think. However, I'm just that much more confident that, you know, if there's haters or people who are, like I said, if they're just generally negative and, you know, there, and there's always going to be that, but I just don't really put any stock in that. You know, those, those kind of things are so small in the scope of just my day to day. You know, I, I know who I am, the service I provide, you know, friends and family that love me. So, Absolutely. hey, what's what's more important than that? So just the confidence that you get in in feeling that you um, you're doing good things and that you are a good person and that, you know, and I don't need anyone to really confirm that I'm I'm pretty validated without being I mean, I'm not arrogant, but I'm. I'm comfortable. I'm, you know, I'm comfortable with where I'm at. And I don't, I don't need people to say, Oh, you look like you're 40. I just want them to say, Hey, you look good for 60. You know? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, and, and I think owning our bodies and not putting ourselves down, I have to catch myself because I still do it. Always. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Nope, don't do that anymore. Kelly, don't, nope, don't do it. Right. Um, so um, I, I think, gosh, I was harder on myself in my 20s and 30s so yep. I'm kind of good now like better. Yeah, well it's good to be good to yourself and and you, you know there are definitely days when I forget about you know self-care and doing things because you can get really really busy in my business and kids and grandbabies and all the other things and uh, so um but you know just yeah just all just life sometimes yep. you forget and and it's not about it's not about not I mean, you still want to obviously take good care of yourself and all that, but you know, you have to look in the mirror and say, I'm, I might have a, a few wrinkles or I may not be, my skin may not be exactly the same as it was. And yeah. you know what? Oh, well, yeah. Oh, Catch, well. Catching yourself doing it is key. 
For yes. sure. Yeah. Be good to yourself. Yeah, so. absolutely. Well, thank you so much. And how do people contact you, by the way, I, before I forget? You know what? You can find me. You can look me up online. I've got blogs, my website, all my stuff. Just look for Linda Michelson, Remax Alliance. Um, okay. You can find me on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I'm not a good Instagrammer yet, but I'm I'm learning. So those are the things that, you know, you're okay. just perpetually growing and trying to evolve with the business and with That's the times. Cool. But yes, look cool. me up. Well, um, yeah, I'll put your contact info in here as well. And um, thank you for inspiring so many women. And yeah, this is the time in our life to really be good with who we are and um, what we're doing. There's, and you know, when I, gosh, when I was in my, I still listen to podcasts from other, uh, and from other places and there, and there's quite a few women in their forties are like, yeah, I'm going to be retired when I'm 50. And I'm thinking, ah. I'm really just feeling like I'm figuring it out. Like, right, well, that you're hitting your stride I right and now. I love it. So why would I stop? I'm good, you know? Absolutely. No, keep yeah. doing. You do you because you're awesome. So are you're you, awesome. Linda. Well, you go be free and I'm going to just stop the recording, but I'll come back to you in, in one second. Okay. Okay.